the punishment range for that is a minimum of two years. One of the questions that I get quite often they're driving on the roadway and they're stopped, they're alleged to be intoxicated, and they have a child. Hi, I'm criminal defense attorney Tim Powers of the Law Office of Tim Powers serving Denton and Collin County. We're talking about search and seizure. Search and seizure is protected constitutionally and you're protected against unreasonable search and seizure. And typically that means a search without a warrant is presumed to be unconstitutional unless it falls out with a well-carved exception that has been formulated by the United States Supreme Court. So typically, if the police have a warrant, that search is presumed to be valid, but it's a rebuttable presumption. What an aggressive attorney will do is look at the affidavit that supports that search warrant and see if it meets the standard of probable cause. If not, what happens is we file a motion to suppress and we try to win that motion to suppress. And if we prevail, the search will be suppressed and all evidence will not be admissible in court and the case typically is dismissed. There can be a number of exceptions if there is no warrant. For example, if someone gets stopped for a DWI and are arrested subject to an investigation, typically a vehicle is impounded. The police have a right to inventory search that vehicle, and if anything is found in that vehicle resulting from that search, it could be an additional charge against someone. Also, there can be what's called a search incident to arrest. If someone is arrested on the street and they are carrying something illegal in their pocket, for example, drugs, if they're arrested for, say, public intoxication and drugs are found in search incident to arrest, that could cause another charge. The key to search and seizure law and prevailing for unreasonable searches is never consent to a search. If you consent to the search, it is going to be held to be valid 100% of the time. If you do not consent to the search, we have something to fight, and when we fight, we try to win. If you are investigated for an offense, or you've been under arrest, and there's a search at issue, call the law offices of Tim Powers. TimPowers.com, in Denton, 940-483-8000, in Collin County, 972-724-4820.